Hi guys, online to help here again. This is a quick demo of how you can create SMTP server, which I thought this video new SMTP method for Power MTA on Ubuntu server. Okay, guys, let's drive in, in the demo and see how we can create Power MTA SMTP server to send unlimited emails on Ubuntu. Okay, things you've been needing here. One, you need your VPS ready, you need a domain, you need an SSH client to run your script, and we're going to get started. You need Power MTA Ubuntu file, and you need a license, you need a configuration file, and with all this ready, you are good to go in building your own SMTP server on Ubuntu. Okay, now right now in this video, I'm going to be buying my VPS, buy my domain, and run my script, and let my SMTP start running on Ubuntu. Okay, the first thing here is I'm going to pick it Ubuntu here. I'm using OVH in this case, in this video, we are using OVH. I'm going for Ubuntu 22.4 versions. So spring down, click on continue here, and wait for it to come up and proceed to your payment. From this place, you can just scroll down and click on continue. But if you want to add additional space, you can go ahead and do whatever things you want to pick from there. I'm just going to leave it that way and proceed. And I'm going for the monthly subscription. You can go for any plan of your choice here. But right now, I'm going for the monthly subscription. I'm scrolling down again, and you can see the total balance I'm paying here is $7. Okay, guys. So you pick your billing address and you pick your... Uh, payment option so i'm just going to pick my payment option from this place and i'm going to proceed okay once the payment is done i'm going to get back to you i will add my credit card information so i've successfully made the payment it's loading and let's see um it take us to a successful payment you can see all that was successfully processed so right now we're going to be waiting to give our information and we get started um with our set up okay but before then now that we have our vps we've already purchased the vps and we are waiting for our vps ip and the password let's go ahead and get our domain ready okay so heading over to our name chip because i'm going to be making use of name chip in for my domain so um let's say i search for uh, polar okay that's go. That's what I want for my so I'm just going to click on best mode. Okay, so just wait for for all to bring the results and see if the availability of the domain you want to purchase is available for you to buy. Okay, and right here you can see we have them available, so you can just proceed to AutoCAD and you check up, you check out. Sorry, I mean you check out your um, domain and you make your purchase for it so by this time you know that you have your domain and you have your vps ready and we're going to go so i'm just going to make order for this confirmed order so from here pick your payment option and proceed to your payment so if you're using the paper it allows paper and your credit card so just pick whatever you want to pay with them proceed with that all right so the order has been made now so we're waiting for you to says you can see other confirmed uh, payment authorized so just waiting for the process um the transaction successful page and here we go this is the transaction successful page and now we can now go to the manage option and here we go this is our domain and from this advanced manager here that is where we can we're going to be configuring our dns record for our smtp which when you are getting this course you're going to be getting it along with it. And mind you, please, this tutorial course is not free. Please note this, is not free. On how you can build, the file is not free. The license is not free. We have the file and the license for sale. And at the same time, we have the full installation pack for sale. So whichever one you are going for, either you are going for the full installation pack, which comprises of the installation video from A to Z, and the file, the license, the script, the ZNS record, and the rest. Or you, you decided to just go for the file and the license. But mind you, all these are not free because some of people will get inside our DM and be asking for this. It's not a free tool. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to be doing all the DNS record. So let me just check my inbox if the VPS is ready so we can quickly get started with the work of the day. Okay, so we have our VPS now ready. You can see it's just came in. Our VPS just came in. So we have the IP. I'm just going to copy this IP address. Okay. 
and uh, I'm going to be putting this IP address in a notepad. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be putting this IP address here. So open my SSH client and um, this. I'm going to be doing this and put the password. Um, let's get started. All right, so getting this now, so open a new terminal to run the command. So the first command we're going to be running right here is um, we're going to set our host name. Okay, so I'm going to be writing this command and change the host name. So once I type host name, I'm going to be seeing my host name, which is my domain name. Okay, so after setting this host name, okay, I can close this and reopen again so that the host name can be showing right here you can see from this it's showing our domain name okay that's very good so now i'm just going to be updating my sudo and i'm going to be upgrading it then i upload my file and our smtp is ready so while this um updating is ongoing just give it for like a minute or 30 seconds it's going to be done okay it's not even up to 30 seconds all this is ready within just a five seconds or 10 okay so i'm upgrading this so i'm going to pick yes and let's upgrade this okay okay now so now that all the command is done so the next thing for us to do is to upload our file and to do that i'm going back to my uh, bridge files i'm going to open this and mind you guys this is a demo video and all the commands are not being shown in the video all the commands are available on our full tutorial course okay what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be dragging this our power mta ubuntu file inside our vps host okay so once i drag this we we'll wait for this process to be completed once it's completed then we're going to upload our license from this place also you can see the license is here and the configuration is there so we're going to upload our license and we start our power mta and we start sending Okay, guys, so you can see the upload, it's almost done. Okay, so right now that it is um, successfully uploaded, we just have to install our Power MTA first before we upload our license. So I'm going to be opening my SSH client, which is uh, this, and I'm going to run this command to install with this and enter. Then the installation process started. You can see this installation process, it's different from the one of CentOS. So this is a different method entirely for Ubuntu. Now the installation was to install to, to upload our license. So I'm just going to be uploading my license right here. I'm going to reload this and I'm going to upload it from ETC to PowerMT. So here is ETC PowerMT. So I'm just going to open this from here also drag my license and drop it down here okay good now my config i'm going to drag it drop it down here overwrite this and okay i right click and edit i'm going to edit my config file so nothing much will be done here we just change this um, domain name we we'll replace all then changes our ip address set our login this is um, our username login for our vps and the password and we're good to go i'm going to register this php start so from here i'm just going to highlight this and control a to replace i'm going to replace with my domain okay so i'm going to just drop it here then replace all okay then close this to the ip language i'm going to highlight this control H, and i'm going to be replacing this also with this, our ip language here and copy this and replace all good so we'll go to our username and password i'm going to change i'm going to cover this username because i noticed in my last video i did someone and on this channel used the password and the username and start blasting so i'm not going to show you the username and the password this time around okay so i'm going to edit this so once all is done i'm going to save this save and let's head back to our search client then to run service pmta starts so when I debug this, it says uh, we've not added our DKIM. So I'm just going to add my DKIM right now on this place. Okay. So DKIM is now added. Let's head back and run service PMT start. Then boom, it's in. So let's run service PMT says and running the status, you can see it's active and running. So our power team is now running 
very well. So let's check our piloting monitor right now. 